Alrighty, so I do have a previous video of this, but on a different character. I spent four hours yesterday making this character. Um, in the 1.8 patch, there is a glitch on where you can just, you don't even have to go against Mogwin or Mog. And, um, you just fall through the, uh, an endless fall in one of those, uh, holes at Mog's Palace on that map. And, uh, you can get it. You can get his blood staff. So, um, if I, if I can... See here. Let me let me. Uh. Um. The uh. Dang it! Shoot! Give me a minute. Ultimate stealth build. I have to see that. There's an ultimate stealth build out there. All right. So the YouTuber's name is uh, Thing Fishy. Um. He has a. Uh, video out there called break patch 1.08.1 how to be overpowered early and it shows this build i in the beginning i never wanted anything to do with this staff i mean the movement sucks I, i'm a dex build rapid fire and uh heavy hitter kind of person but i i never knew I never thought I would ever be making this build because all the blood builders out there praise this and the rivers of blood. I still haven't even remotely messed with the rivers of blood yet. I haven't even nowhere near made a class around that even. So I, I, I've, I've seen destructive builds of that one too, but you know. But anywho, um, I've made a crap ton of progress on this from yesterday and today. Um, as you can see, I'm 106. I have rot, uh, Scarlet Rot Breath, Flame Grant Me Strength, and Mogwin's Rune. Because his rune, I actually saw when uh, a... Uh, when uh, blood loss is performed in the vicinity, it boosts you and gives you 20% um, uh, weapon damage with that boost, including your your uh, summons. So having that rune, having that great rune, is actually really really helpful in a blood build. Also, the reason why I created another Mogwin staff class is because this white mask. This is the very first time I've ever had this mask, or even got it. I uh, met, I wanted it, and um, found out yesterday night that um, if I if you kill Mogwin, you can't get the mask because the uh, oh man, I don't, the, uh, bloody fingers are part of his, like, whole clan thing, and if you kill him, the, uh, three invaders will not spawn at Mogwin's palace, and so then you're, it's just gone forever, and I messed that up, so I was like, I need to get it, so I went through the grueling thing yesterday, of going through collecting a shoot, uh, all of the oh snap I messed up oh man we got scarlet rot I don't want to die get on there come on come on come on um I don't I wanted to get this mask cuz I've never got it through all my playthroughs I've never never got it properly and now I have and uh if you're going to be creating a pure blood build, I want every single type of weapon, talisman, enhancement, buff that you can get to just get that more, much, that extra inch in the battle. 
So, I mean, I was slightly disappointed after I got this because of the description. Um, slightly raises attack power when there is blood loss nearby. I'm like, seriously, slightly? Because this, the invaders, there's three of them you have to deal with. After you kill one, you have to deal with the other. But they individually spawn after you kill one. And so... Um, they were at level four. I think I fought them at level 43, around 40 something. And within one or they are very quick. I mean, just trying to run away from them sucked because they catch up on you and they're a dagger build. So they can, they can catch up. They can get ground on you, but, um, I started this class as a samurai and um, made my way into blood in, into a pure blood build, and um, nothing was working. Scarlet rot breath, and I I don't I think I spent over either an hour up to an hour or over an hour just trying to figure out a strategy to defeat enemies that are that are in an area where I'm supposed to be level 100 plus. Oh god. And um Oh. That would have been bad. And um I was and um then, uh, every time I noticed, uh, the Blood Geysers would do significant amount of damage. And I'm like, screw this. I eventually, um, started walking around them. And right before they erupt, I would walk through them. And they would walk in too, but sometimes you would get out of luck. And, um, they would stand there and spawn their little fly... Their um, fly incantation. Here, I'll show you which one it is. This. They would uh, summon the swarm of flies. And you have to uh, trigger the flies and dodge straight through them so you don't get bit. And get staggered. And then the white mask goes upon you and just utterly destroys you. So, I had to bait them in. And into the guy, each, every single one of them individually into a geyser until they died. Um, to dwindle them down even more, just a little quicker way to kill them is if you apply Scarlet Rot. But, I mean, it's, it's just an additive, additive bonus to it. Um, but it was a pain. All that work for for the white mask, it just, jeez, it just wasn't worth it in my eyes. So, um, I, I, I got it, and we're here now with a very OP build. I mean, just look at that damage, 163 just in that time. 1,683 damage just in one knee hilt S ritual and it's just devastating it, it's the AOE on this is massive what the heck are you looking at so I mean I, I, I honestly really like this build it's super OP um, you can buff yourself. Um, instead of actually getting um, a golden vow and you have to use the golden vow. Um, dang it. Where is it? The, the golden order seal. Um, instead of using that, granted it will boost it. And yes, granted I should probably get my uh, faith up to 17 and my int to 17 and boost that all the way um, instead of doing this you can just put golden vow onto a dagger and save yourself a lot of time but that extra boost would be nice 
Um, and then you also have Flame Grant Me Strength on top of that. And I also have in my flask a uh, boost to strength and a boost to flame. So now you're just set up for an ultimate. Just. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Powerhouse here. I mean, just look at that. Just wipes them out, and, and that's just one. Um, my weapon is plus 10. It's fully maxed out. Um, and for Talisman, uh, let's see our status, 797, and plus, when blood, when blood loss is with, uh, um, Moog's Great Rune, here, let me bring it up real quick, give me a minute, inventory, Oh, what? Uh, give me a minute here. Let me sit down. So, if you have... So, grants Blessing of Blood to Phantoms. Um, it will also include it for you as well. Give you a boost. Um, and it will also give a boost to... Uh, to your summons. So, um, it will... Give a huge buffer for physical damage to your to your summons, and it will give them a twenty percent um, twenty percent extra damage, and um, it's just devastating. And so, um, yeah. Um, the mask helps. So anything that helps, you can either use this or that. There's not really any big difference damage-wise, so I didn't really care. Um, the talisman I have equipped is the Fire Scorpion Charm, the Lord of Blood Execution. Blood loss is blood loss in the vicinity increases attack power. Also with the mask, um, uh, Claire. Clarifying Horn Charm will increase my focus, but that's not really surrounded around my build. It's just something to fill. And I have Scar... Scar... Star Surge... Heirloom? Uh, raises strength. But, um... We are going to be going against, uh... I mean, granted, we can also do this when defeating enemies, but I haven't really... Not too worried about it at all I kinda probably want to um, get a really good talisman in there are you serious I hate crystallians they're such a pain <sighs> But highly, re highly recommend anybody who wants to do the Mogwin glitch. Um, all you have to do is go into his fight, exit out, and um, all right, let's get out of there before he charges. What? How did I miss that? Oh well. Um, exit out, and then you have to make your way out of the borders of that area into a fall zone ah oh, man I missed that too damn it and um yeah the key to getting the glitch is double jumping into the hole <sighs> yeah just right on the edge and um and uh you just you'll be in the air for about 30 seconds to a minute and um, when you know you've done it right, his great rune will show up, and um, his great rune will show up, and um, his uh, boss power will show up, source of power will show up. And that's when you know you've done it. You just bring up the map, and you fast travel to the nearest um, 
side of grace. But we're going to go against... Oh, man. Loretta. We're going to go against her. Uh, I honestly want to know why... I honestly want to know why Loretta is here. Um, I've always um, wanted to, if the since there's a stealth mechanic in this game, I honestly want to know if there's a way to stealth the entire game, but I doubt it. Um, but um, um, I would have loved to play as a um, black knife and. Um, um, with their entire moveset, it would just be so badass being that nimble and that powerful. Actually a very big pain to deal with, but with this, you just create the create the ritual and no one bothers you. But we're going to go against Loretta, so uh, yeah. Um, for armor, um, a good mid to end gain armor is the scaled armor. It's always done me well. It has a great... It's a great... Um, uh, mid-weight, medium-weight armor. Um, yeah, it, it's just both fashionable and just looks good all the way around. And the mask, uh, I, I'm not gonna lie, I honestly look badass with the mask. The mask, the white mask is really cool. And the reason why I've always wanted this mask is because, one, I've never got it, and two... Any blood build I've ever seen online always has this mask. It's just very, very... Uh, it's just apparently it's powerful in the blood build community of Elden Ring. But first, what we're going to do is... We're going to buff ourselves. We're going to summon... Oh, please don't have the dagger. Oh, I messed up! Ow. Oh! Yeah, I messed up. He had the dagger in his hand. So we're gonna try that again. Loretta is no, but is definitely don't want to mess with that woman. <sighs> so let's try that again. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have my physical wondrous flashback. Yeah. Boost and fire attack. Alright. So, we're gonna go through here. Then that mage will walk out. Not gonna lie, I'm like, right in his zone and he just walks right past me. I almost want to say some stealth is, like, broken. Alright, so let's do this the right way. We need to be ready before we even get in there. We're going to do this. We're going to do Golden Vow. Switch back. We're going to drink our flask. We're going to get in there. We're going to get our buddy out. Oh, that was close. Oh! Oh! Oh, snap! Why are you aiming at me, lady? Alright, here we go. Here we go. There we go. 
That's how it was supposed to go. And if we actually had the uh, Great Rune activated, this, that uh, armor met damage would have boosted all the way to 1,300 1, and some odd amount of stupid amount of damage, but yeah. Oh, okay. What's going on? There we go. And so now we are on to... I'm honestly a little nervous to go up against Melania right now, but I have honestly nothing to lose. Um, I've defeated her in all my playthroughs. Uh, I'm by, by far no master against her, but I have to also now figure out how I'm going to be able to stand still without her beating on me. So we're going to level up, uh, everything's 30, we're going to boost that up to now, you know what, wait, what's that going to bump it up to, 17? Alright, I'm comfortable with that, holy cow, I think it's time to... Yeah, we're going to level up again. Alright, and um, I always use my souls. I never let them go to waste unless it's an amount that just doesn't really matter. Um, my summons is also plus 10. My weapons plus 10. Uh, I'm just I'm just set to go. Um, as you can see, flask of crimson tears is plus ten. Sorry about my nose; it's stuffy. We also have to go against the Fire Giant and the Fire Giants. Ancient Dragon Smith and Stone. Um, what we actually need to do is actually go get Mal uh, Melina. Melina. I defeated her... Uh, So, I want to show you guys what happens when we actually activate this. We have to be very careful against this guy. He's actually really good to farm as well. Oh! Yep! Oh my word! Ow! As you can see, the amount of stupid damage he can deal. But we're better. As you can see, it deals... Yeah, it's just stupid amount. With all the buffs and everything. And as it drop back down. But, um, I'm wanting to get the, uh... Rotten uh, winged sword because consistent hitting goes on with the goes on with the uh, um, consistent hits uh, goes on with the ritual and that would be a huge buffer the winged. Rotten Winged Blade is the best out of the Winged Talismans. But. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let's see here. Want to do that. Want to do Golden Foul. We want to do that. We want to do that. Yeah, 1,341. 
that's that's why you want this uh, this great rune equipped. And then we're gonna slowly watch it drop because I actually I actually want to know what the base is. Yep, goes down to nine hundred and sixty-two, eight hundred and one. Oh come on, that can't. oh golden vow is gonna take a while, but here let's let's reset the character real quick. Uh, all the buffers are still on it, but yeah, just stupid amount of damage. So my it it from six hundred and fifty three with all the buffs and the great rune for a total amount of damage of one thousand three hundred and forty one. We are dealing stupid amount of damage just with the ritual. But, of course, here, let's... And, I mean, just just look at the amount of damage. We got suicide... Oh! We definitely don't want to be a part of that. But, um... We're going to go and get a ancient somber smithing stone and we're going to get the two uh, curse seedbed curses and then we're going to go and challenge the um, dung eater and get that and make him our little bidiatach. And, uh, yeah, Dung Eater is actually pretty, a, a very, very tanky summons. Out of all the summons, I want my Mimic tier. I get the Mimic tier. I get the Dung Eater. And I get. The, I get the the mimic is number one always because it's the fastest one you can get um, dung eater and I get the black knife uh, come down here go off to the right and your last one will be right there but I just want to get uh, la, 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 la. There's no way of getting out of here. So what we're going to do is summon back up here to the prayer room. <clears throat> Alright, let's see here. And because I don't want my s stuff to go to waste. Um... I want to go here. I always mark the merchants that have valuable stuff that I want. So I know where to directly go when I have moolah. Oh my word. Come on. Please don't do this. There we go. Uh, I think I have a file messed up where it doesn't like to load. So he has a stoneward key, and he has that talisman. And you are no longer valuable. Um, where is another one? There should have been a merchant along here. I already got that one. There's one over there. I actually need to go and get the needle repaired. Um, that one still has something I want, apparently. And, um...
You have something I want. Lightning pot and roped lightning. All right. All right, and you are no longer useful. We'll clean up the map. We need to go back to the Hallig Tree and continue. So we're just running to get to the side of graces. And skip all this nonsense. I've played this game way too much. Way, way, way too much. <laughs> so I know all the ins and outs. I've done a lot of OP early classes. And yeah. You really need to know your way around if you're doing OP classes early. It's just a lot of running around. I mean, for this build, the first thing I did was to collect all the Crimson Tears and all the Golden Seeds before I did anything, so I had a fighting chance versus everything. Oh, my word. These guys are so offended. But they can't jump. I should have kicked the... Oh. We don't have to kick the ladder. I'm going to attempt to destroy this tree, though. Going to switch that back. Going to do flame. Then we're going to summon my character. Perform the blood ritual since the trees are extremely... Oh, holy cow, like that. And it killed the two guards. Oh, my word. Ah. We're never going to make it through that hallway. <laughs> Anywho. Yeah. As you can tell, it was... It's a pretty OP build. Even in, even without the weapon being... Being as... Um, high level as it is. Even in the early stages of this weapon, it is... The weapon art is just... OP. I never thought I would be using this weapon. Not, not a single time in my build. And it's just... Devastating. But one thing I haven't used against it is a. Huh. I forget what this is. Oh, hero rune. Huh. Probably need that. Only thing I haven't tested this weapon against, at least the weapon rune, a weapon art, is against these guys. But uh, we'll we'll figure that out later. Um, where uh, go up the roots, idiot? Do I have to go through this poison? Ugh, hate this stuff. I can't wait to get the pestilent threads. Um, I don't know if you know, a uh, very useful tip. Going against the uh, Elden Beast. The Elden Beast is actually extremely weak to the um, pestilent threads. Like, 
you could just spam the crap out of the plus pestilent threads and just does de a surprisingly devastating amount of damage. Ooh, almost messed that up. To the Elden Beast. Like, it, it's... It's just resistant to a lot. But the one thing uh, about this build Melania isn't resistant to is fire and blood. Uh, where's the side of grace? Side of grace, come on. Hurry up. Huh, when you're near a side of grace... Oh, okay. It actually stopped there for a second, the Scarlet Rot. But I'm going to just do a single attempt. Uh... Oh, my word. <laughs> Hate my nose. Oh, um... I'll be right back. I'm going to get some nose stuff to clear my clear my nose. Give me a sec, guys. It's great. I need to blow my nose once they open up, though. Alright. When you come down here, you need to go over here, jump down here. Oh, let's... And just like that, my nostrils are clear. Stuff works amazing. Alright, and we're at the boss. But before we die, I would like to use my 20,000 towards the robes of Mogwin. Real quick. We're going to go up against her only once because I'm not going to... I have cussed enough against Melania, and I'm definitely not going to podcast that. Um, let's see here. We need to go to the round table. I'm a little worried about going against the fire giant because he's resistant towards fire, so highly resistant towards fire, and that guy's just a tank. Huge tank. Um, we need to buy something. Nope, nope, wrong way. The reason why I want to spend it is because there's also a strifing run we have to do. And more than 90% of the time, I die in the sh Oh, I already have it. Shoot. Oh, no remembrance. I think I have to actually talk to her about burning. Alright. Um, what I need to do next is... Talk to... We actually need to go against the Dung Eater because it's Dung Eater time. I have not even gone... Um, a, even up here to activate Ronnie's quest yet. 
because, yeah, I mean, there's no need to activate that yet. Um, you can mess something up over here. Um, Sullivan's quest line, you have, um, if you want a good magic build, he actually gives you the magic scorpions talisman, and you can mess that up without even knowing. So before ever even um, um, completing or starting Ronnie's quest line, deal with Sullivan first, or Ronnie will kill him, and then you will. There's no way of getting the magic scorpion talisman if you're doing a magic build. All right. All right. So we already got her. All right. I think it's time to blow my nose. Give me a second, guys. Alrighty, and we are back. Ah, it's so nice to be able to breathe. Ah. Alright, so we have to go take care of her because she is uh, technically a new Elden Lord. Well, ruler. Yeah, I've done a lot. Oh, man. Alright. Yeah, I've already got her Stormhawk and everything. D is actually dead now. Um, I actually still need to go get the Rune of Death. Alright, there we go. And then out of this quest, we're going to get a, I want to say, either two somber smithing stones or one ancient somber smithing stone and a ancient smithing stone. Uh, her, Nefeli's quest is extremely, extremely crucial. If you don't follow it to a T. If you don't follow it to a T, you're screwed. Uh, I already cleared this fort out. I need to go talk to the forts.
Huh, for a second there, I thought I saw a seed. We're gonna have a little fun. I'm gonna send out my summons. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead, buff. Just for the heck. Just for the fun of it. Alright. I'm gonna do. I, I love the Mimic tier. Absolutely love it. I just don't like the fact that they took away the one single healing potion that it had. At all. It goes like, why would you dumb down? That's what makes the Mimic tier so special, is that it's a little bit slightly more intelligent than the rest of the summons. And it has a chance to live longer than the rest of the summons. So, I'm really hoping that they bring that back. Because it was really nice being able to have a summons that, hey, it's health slow, let me heal up. So, yeah. Alright, and so... <sighs> And, um, uh, Moglin, or Morgoth, needs to be dead You uh, for this quest to happen, to be completed. This is the final step. So after that's cleared out, so the way the quest works... Is you'll meet Nephelia at Stormvale. You'll help her defeat uh, Godric. And then after Godric's dead, she's going to retreat. Um, her next location will be at the round table after you talk to her father. You can actually go through the entire game without ever talking to her dad. And, and until you talk to the dad, the all-knowing, whatever the hell his name is, the guy's a pile of crap. Um... Then the Nefeli thing will start because she'll be at the table right outside of his office. And then she'll be standing there. You'll talk to her. Then she goes off, off to the Albanork village. And you'll help her take out the Omen Killer. And then she'll retreat back to the round table as you saw. And you'll find out the truth that her father did it. Then you need to go back to the Church of Anticipation, which is where you first started the game right here and take out the grafted scion and get go back up into the church where you started up here and um, get get her stormhawk and then the stormhawk summons bring it back to her which you just saw I gave her it and it cheers her up after that's done you need to come back here, or once he, once, uh, Kenneth Heights is at this fort, go and talk to him, he'll say he's trying to find a new heir, make sure that, um, and then, um, you need to defeat, um, Mog, Mogwin, or Morgot. Morgot needs to be dead, after Morgot is dead, you need to then go back, go back to um, Stormvale Castle where you defeated Godwin or Gold Goldwin or what? God, whatever. And whatever you do, do not kill this guy who's stomping on his head. I actually want to find out lore about Godwin because he cut off his legs and his arms. 
do not kill this guy. He has something extremely valuable. He has one of the ancient somber smithing stones that you can buy. So after you get here, what you want to do is sit down. And that guy should disappear. Yep, just like that. That's when you know you've done it right. Uh, apparently you have to sit down twice to activate it. Um, once he's gone, he's moved up into the throne room, and Nefeli is the new king of Stormvale Castle. Once you've done this, you know you've done it right. You'll go up, talk to her. And then she'll give you an ancient dragon smithing stone for her thanks. safe and sound. Lady of such is for the time at which time I raising my hope it. For the time at which time I raising my hope it. Alright, you're not saying anything. And then this is where this guy comes into use. And as you can see, ancient dra oh, this is also a smithing stone as well. So you can get two smithing stone, ancient dragon smithing stones out of Nefeli's quest. I'll just buy this, buy this guy out, right? Oh no, I'm broke. All right. So now that we're done with her, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, another good thing is another good thing about avoiding. Um, Sullivan's quest right now is accidentally giving Nefeli or the Nefeli the um, or her dad the um, potion that he gives you. I've never done it. I've always been very cautious. Um, but if you're tapping tapping too fast, you can accidentally give um, Nefeli the potion or um, accidentally not get dung eaters um, as a summons. Because when you do the quest, which I'll probably show in this video, um, when you meet his physical body in the sewers, he'll be strapped down to a chair, and you talk to him, and the first two options come up as the very first one is to get the uh, give him the seedbed curses, or get the seedbed curses. And the right below is give him the potion. So if you're spamming the button to get the... Uh, getting the talking to go away and you accidentally spam too fast, you could potentially fuck that up. Mmm, man, these chips are so good. So, we're done there. We need to continue. Um, we're gonna actually try and attempt to go up against... We'll do this one run, and that's it, because...